thought we would actually work on something for Mother's Day. So what we're going to do with this video is we're going to make a card for Mother's Day. And when you pull it apart, it has a surprise. Happy Mother's Day. So we're going to draw this cute little giraffe today. So for this project, you're going to need your pencil. We're going to draw a line till we get it right. Very good. Markers. You can use crayons if you want. It's up to you. And Sharpie. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. We're going to start off with just a regular size of paper. You can use notebook paper. You can use any kind of paper that you have. So what we're going to do, we're going to fold it in half first. We call this hamburger style. And we'll crease it. And then we're going to fold it a third of the way. So let's break this into threes. So, one, two, three. So we're going to fold it about a third in. Not half. Less than half. Okay. Now we're going to open this up. And this, you're going to have a little hidden flap back there. That's going to stay. We're not going to open it up all the way. If you do open it up all the way, just push it together like that. And we're going to draw on this side. So you want this to all be behind. It doesn't matter if it's folded up or down. You already have it creased, okay? And then we're going to start by drawing our giraffe. So his head shape and part of his note is going to have to fit here. And it's like an egg shape. Draw a lot till we get it right. And then he has some little horns, it's two lines, and a half a circle. Two lines, half a circle. And two little ears. And for the inside of his ear so we can hear, hello giraffe, there we go, cute. Now, his nose is going to go right here. So that's his whole nose. Then you're going to have two little nostrils for him to breathe. They look like little seeds or watermelon seeds. And then his eyes, eyes are completely up to you how you do your eyes. I'm just going to make one, two, and a pupil right in the center. And these are just guidelines here. Okay, your draft is holding a piece of paper that is a surprise letter for your mom, your grandma, your aunt, anyone who's a mother. You can give this to anyone who's a mother. So, your paper is going to go right through here. Because he's holding it in his mouth. And on each side, he's still trying to smile. So, right up here, he's still smiling and he's holding it. Even though he's smiling, it's going to come down. So let's start here. We're going to come down. Now this is the trick for making paper overlap. It's going to come right down. It's going to come up. A little hook there. And then that's going to come across. And that's the paper's kind of um, like hanging up when it unrolls. And then you're going to do the bottom. And this paper, I hang just like that because he's holding it. It's a surprise. So we planned it all out. We measured his neck is going to go here. 
And you have to leave room for his little body and his little legs. So we're gonna go right around for a little booty. Booty boot. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a leg here. Now he's a cartoon giraffe, so he doesn't have to be perfect. Go all the way up. And a leg here. So you have one leg here and here. These are on the left side of him, and then we have some legs in the back. One, two, and then we're gonna put little hooves on him. Curve, 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 and curve. In between there, we'll put the little hooves. And his little tail. One, two, and then it's almost like a heart shape. You can do a heart shape if you want. He is so cute. Now we want to open this up and fill in all this missing space that we have here. So we're just going to connect the line. Connect the lines. And connect the lines. Cute. Now, we will trace the lines we want to keep with Sharpie. eyes be careful or you're going to be unhappy because the sharpie will bleed a little wider than the lines you initially make so take your time the harder you press down the fatter your line's going to be and i think i'm going to put some little eyelashes on there it's up to you really personalize your little giraffe nostrils here and then his neck and his little note that he's holding in his little mouth. Sharpie, only the lines you want to keep. And they are guidelines. So if you want to change something, you can do that also. His little tail. His or her little tail. And we got the smile going. And then we can put our little dots on there. Oh, make sure you got everything traced. Erase your pencil lines. Erase, erase, erase. So we want to erase all our pencil lines. And then our giraffe has some spots. So we're just going to put in some random spots. Some in the middle, some going off the page. This little neck is so little. Little C's. Um, these are freeform shapes because they're not geometric. So you can just put them anywhere you want. Freeform, no corners really. Just soft, cloudy, puddly like. Hmm, look at it. Then I'll put some on his face. And then in here is where you can write your message. 
I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. H A P P Y. Happy Mother. Z. Apostrophe S. Mother's Day. You can put love, your name. You can put some flowers, some bumblebees, different things. You can actually draw on the letter that your giraffe is holding. And I think I'm gonna put some little rough stuff on his neck. You know, they have the little hair on their neck. Little grass. Just scribble, scribble. Grass, grass, grass. Put some flowers down there if you want. Circle, you, you, you. Feel free to be creative on this. Then you're gonna add lots of color. Lots of color, you can do your giraffe whatever color you want. When I did blue eyes, I did some orange, I added some orange shadows, did yellow for Happy Mother's Day, did my grass. You can add birds, flowers, trees. It's really up to you, but I know whoever your special person is that you give this Mother's Day card to, they're gonna love it. And then it opens up. Can't wait to see what you've created. Have fun and see you soon.